guys, today we'll be making a gorgeous, poofy Valentine's Day wreath, red and gold. What you will need, a wreath ring, and this is 16 inches with the Chanel stems attached, but you are able to use just a plain wreath ring and attach your own Chanel stems if you choose to do so. I have red and gold deco mesh from Dollar Tree. This really cute sign that I purchased from Dollar Tree also. And then ribbon. I have red glitter, gold glitter, a really cute pattern gold, and then like a burlap color. I also have 21 inch red deco mesh. But you can use whatever color, center, deco mesh, and ribbon that you choose. Just have fun with it and make it your own. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is lift all of our Chanel stems so that they are ready to go when we start placing our mesh. Alright, so we're going to take our 21 inch deco mesh and fold it to where it curls inward to a nice little point. Pick a stem. I usually go with a stem on the outer ring. Place it down and then twist it a couple of times. Pull to make a nice poof. And you could measure, but I never do. Just estimate. Find the next stem, place it down, and twist it. Just a couple of times. And we're just going to repeat this step all the way around the outer ring and then do the exact same thing on the inner ring. So when you make it back to your first stem, what you're going to do is pull, make a poof, unravel, place the deco mesh, and then twist it back. And then cut it away. And then we're going to do the same thing on the inner ring. Bring your deco mesh to a point, place it down, and twist it in place. Pull the mesh, make a nice poof, and place it down. And then repeat this step all the way around the inner ring, just like we did on the outer ring. Alright, it looks so cute and poofy already. Next, we are going to take our gold deco mesh. And this step, you could use ribbon or whatever you'd like, but I chose to go with the uh, six inch gold deco mesh. I'm going to, same thing I did with the larger mesh, fold it to a nice little point, pick a stem, and place it down and twist it in place. And then this was the inner stem. Now, the next time, I'm going to take it to the outer stem. So the stem on the inner ring and then the stem on the outer ring and then back to the inner ring and alternate inner, outer, inner, outer. Just because I like the cascading effect. If you want to just go all the way around the inner, you can do that or all the way around the outer. Just whatever you choose. <laughs> So I've made it back to my starting point. I'm just going to connect the mesh. So untwist, place it down, and twist it back. Then I'm going to use my scissors and just cut the excess away. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with my red and gold glitter ribbon. Again, you can skip this step if you choose to do so, or if you want to use wider ribbon or just another color mesh, then you can do that. This is your chance to just personalize it to fit you. So I'm taking the ribbon, both pieces, and just pretty much following the same path I used for the gold deco mesh. And I'm going to do this all the way around and then when I get to the end just cut away the excess ribbon. All right. 
right, it's looking so cute already. Next, I'm going to add some of my red and gold deco mesh. I'm rolling them at a diagonal, crisscrossing them, and then I'm just going to place them throughout my wreath. You can use the longer 10 inch deco mesh if you choose to do so, but I think this mesh works just fine for me. So I'm just going to get the deco mesh placed all the way around the wreath. And I also want to place my gold and burlap ribbon. So I've cut those into 8 to 10 inch long pieces. And I'm just placing them throughout my wreath just like I did the deco mesh. I also cut the deco mesh into 8 inch long pieces. You can ribbon cut the ends of the ribbon if you choose to do so. But I'm just going to leave them squared off this time. And I'm placing the ribbon and the burlap all throughout the wreath. Okay, it's looking so cute and precious already. Next, we want to add our adorable center. We are going to take our sign and four Chanel stems and a pair of scissors. So cut the top hanger off of the sign because we won't need that. Turn your sign over and then take two Chanel stems, twist them together to make one long Chanel stem to make sure that it extends past the sign so that we can use that to attach it to our wreath. And do the same with the bottom. Take your hot glue gun and we're just going to glue the Chanel stems in place. Alright, now this wreath is very poofy so you're going to have to move all of the deco mesh from the center because you don't really want your sign to cover much of your deco mesh. So just kind of make it nice and cozy in the center of your wreath. And then wherever your Chanel stems are, you're going to just attach them, wrap them around the wreath ring a couple of times just to make sure they're nice and secure. And then once you get all of the uh, stems wrapped around and your sign is very secure, take your wreath and kind of form it around your sign. Make sure you don't have any gaps or spaces. And just adjust it, put, poof it up, maneuver it, make sure everything looks really nice and cute. Just like that. For our final finishing touch is an adorable bow. I will link the video on how I made this bow at the end of this video, also in the description box down below. So you're going to take your bow, which still has the bow wire attached, and you're going to pick a place on your wreath. I decided to go with the bottom, but you can put it at the bottom, top, left, right, wherever you choose. And I just loop the bow wire around the wreath ring, and I tie it in a bow. I don't do a knot just because the bow is still secure, but you're able to easily untie it and put it somewhere else if you don't like where it is. So I tied it in a bow and I'm just adjusting it, making it look so cute and precious. And that's it. You are all done. Simple, easy to do. It looks so cute and precious and it's just adorable. Modify the colors, the style, the pattern to fit you.